Hey everybody and welcome back to another book review. So um, this book was the book I was supposed to read <laughs> for book club last month um, and uh, I didn't because <laughs> I read Frankenstein. I really don't know why I thought that that was the book that we were reading. Um, but the book is The Wednesday Wars um, and uh, it, it was actually a really good book. So uh, I thought it had been written longer ago than what it actually was written. Um, it was written in like 2007 or at least published in 2007. Um, but it's a really uh, fun kind of coming of age story about um, a kid named Holling Hood Hood um, who is just trying to survive the seventh grade um, in 1967-68. So the book follows the whole school year um so each instead of having like chapters each chapter is actually like a month so you know like first chapter is september um and just everything that happens uh to him it is uh set on the backdrop of the vietnam war which is not a war that i willingly study or know anything about i know a lot of you guys know that i do have um a history degree um but I am not a big war person, um, with the exception of I know things about the wars, particularly the ones that I teach. But I don't really teach too much on the Vietnam War, um, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, I just have a lot of personal feelings about the Vietnam War. Um, but I thought that it was a really, really good book. Um, I really like what, uh, the way that the backdrop of everything that was going on with the war was kind of woven into how it's affecting the main character Howling, but like also how it's affecting his peers and his teachers. Um, so that was kind of really fun to read and just like a new kind of take on the Vietnam War that wasn't super like Vietnam War, Platoon, Rambo. Um, so that was really cool. Um, I also, uh, there's a part in the book that um, was not expecting to get teared up at. <laughs> um, there's a couple parts actually, um, all relating to one of the sub characters whose name is Mai T, and she is a Vietnamese refugee that is in um, Holling's class. And just the fact that, for the most part, like the kids, like kind of just really accept that she's part of their class. Um, but uh, one of the uh, staff members at the school for a long time really is very, very mean to her, very hateful to her because um, her, uh, because the staff member's son uh, was killed in uh, Vietnam. And um, she just kind of takes it out on this poor, innocent little 13-year-old. Um, and then at the end of the movie, um, she offers actually to adopt her um, so that she could have a, a nice place to live. Um, and it was just, I was not expecting to get teared up at it, but it made me tear up just a little bit. Um, so it was a really good book. Um, I think it would honestly be really great for, um, a classroom setting. I don't know if any other teachers out there have ever read it or use it in their class. Um, but I, it's a very chill, easy read book. Um, but it also just really relates to, I think what a lot of, uh, a lot of kids go through, especially because I teach middle school. I'm like, yep, this is exactly what the kids say. <laughs> um, and, um, just really kind of falling into that academic side of things. It's, it's just a really good book. So the Wednesday Wars, um, really great. I would honestly give it a five out of five. Um, just awesome book. Awesome, awesome book. So that's a very short book review, but that is all I've got, um, for this particular review. Uh, thank you everyone as always for watching. Um, continue to send me book suggestions. Um, Still working my way through a couple uh, books. I'm actually reading multiple books at the same time because we have a drop everything and read time at school. So I try to do a different book each day or toggle between a couple different books each day. Um, so that's actually helping me get through a few more books than normal. But um, c again, continue to drop uh, some books uh, that you would like to see me read um, or hear uh, about reading. And, um, big suggestion from Cheshire's Top Cats, uh, about doing, um, perhaps a top 10 books that I've read, uh, in, in this whole process of me reading books. Um, so I think I'm going to do that, uh, close to the end of the year. So be on the lookout for that coming up of 
whatever our top tens are. Um, so there you have it. Thank you all as always for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.